Hi, I'm Anna from BeautyGirlsMom.com. I'm Jim from Left Wing Libertarian. How nice are you haircut. doing today? I like your haircut. Oh, well, thank you. Thank Just you. recently got a cut. Yes, minutes ago. So I don't know if you'd noticed, but this month's copy of American Rifleman came in. And in there, there's a story about a brand new scope that's come out. I understand that you're interested because I heard you talking to your Disney pals about scopes and snipers. No, no, I didn't. So here's, here's the thing that's going on right now. There are services that are available. Um, let me just backtrack. If you want to dine at a Walt Disney World restaurant, <laughs> especially a popular one, um, you can make your dining reservations 180 days in advance. If you are a resort guest, you can make the reservations for the entire length of your stay up to 10 days. But anybody can call in 180 days in advance and make a dining reservation for any of the Walt Disney World restaurants. I'm the one that makes the reservations in this family. And Don't you have to have a reservation? You have to, have, you have to be like staying on property? You don't have to be staying on property. If you're staying on property, you can make them for up to 10 days. If you are not staying on property, you can make them 180 days out. So if you're staying like at a local Marriott, you would call every day at your 180 day mark. I'm the one that makes the reservations in our house and I make it a point, especially during peak seasons like Christmas when we typically go, I try to be online or on the phone at exactly the 180 day mark. <laughs> I put it on my calendar Midnight. weeks in advance. People get up at 1 a.m. There's coffee. I get there. up in the morning. Um, you can get online as early as 6 a.m. I am online at 6 a.m. Um, you can get on the phones at 7 a.m. I am on the phone sometimes at 7 a.m. We this, bring in second lines, we lay them around, make We do none calls. of that. I just do it all myself on my computer and my cell phone. But this is the first year that I was not able to get most of the dining reservations that, we, that I wanted. <gasps> This is a Beauty Girls Mom shocker. You're saying that you let down the Beauty Girls Mom family? Um, no. And I'm very grateful to some help that I had securing the reservations that we did get. Oh, now it's insider trading. It's not insider trading. We're not going to go there. <laughs> and, okay. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to discuss, you know, whatever. I was able to get most of the reservations that I wanted. Okay, you're going on too long. Let me summarize where we're at. So, years ago when you were selling stuff on eBay... There were programs that were sniper programs that would monitor for your auctions and then at the last minute they would go in and <laughs> place a bid for you in case somebody else was watching it thinking they could get it for two bucks and you'd bid 350 and steal the item at the last minute. So it sounds like somebody's just using a piece of technology to take advantage of a loophole in the Disney system for reservations. Well, and we haven't told people what these services are, but there are now services out there that will look for the dining reservations that you want and they will notify you when those reservations open up. Now, well, there are. I mean, like there's there's concierbygym.com, um, you know, where you call me and I book reservations for you. Um, no. But I charge like $5,000 for a vacation. <laughs> it's very reasonable, very valued service. What I actually do is I trick her into think we're going. We never leave home. <laughs> no. So anyhow, these services for a charge of about $10 will look for the reservation for you, notify you if your reservation becomes available, and you have the opportunity at that point to go in and try and snag the reservation yourself. They do not book the reservation for you. They only let you know that it's available. $10, that's cheaper than what we pay you. There is a new service, however, that actually goes in and books these reservations and then turns around and sells them to you for $15. So the difference is they're not letting you know there's a vacancy. They are grabbing all the seats themselves and then they're standing around going, I'm selling limited edition seats. Who wants one? Yes, they are selling Are they selling them to highest bidder? No, they're selling them for a flat fee of $15. Now, as of right now, we don't know. As what. of right now. And that's not a lot of money. And I will say that, you know, I've been able to go online and look and see. They do have some of the reservations that I want. And I could book them through these people and pay the extra $15. And people will do that because it's your vacation. You want it to go well. You want everybody to be happy. Okay. <laughs> but is that, really, is that really it? Is it really that because they have the vacation reservation that you want and if you had gotten your reservation with this like really who would this bother somebody who if they could get the reservation they wanted like if they went online and they looked and they said well I want to be at the new restaurant in the Magic Kingdom uh, later video watch for it or um, as my backup plan I'll go to Taco Bell I mean like for anybody like that I mean they're gonna go to their backup reservation is that really you know who's this impacting well, it's impacting people like me who have 
a general idea of where we like to eat. And there are places, you've seen the video where we talk about how much we love Artist Point on Christmas. We just, we love it there. It's one of our favorite things. Oh my God, that video mm -hmm. where I told people we would pay to give us a reservation may have been the entire idea that might have, you for might this have inspired this, yes. Where's my royalties? <coughs> but there are people who have, you know, an idea in their head of what their perfect vacation looks like, and it does include certain dining experiences. These people are gonna be disappointed. But the problem is they're gonna be disappointed to the point where they are now paying to secure these reservations. Well, I guess here's That's where- not fair. Here's where I guess it's not cool. I mean, if I owned a restaurant and these people came in and blocked up all my, grabbed all my booking slots, it would make my restaurant seem more popular, but no real person's actually gonna show up that day. So well, and that's what's going to happen. These these this one per place in particular. This is not all of the services. All of the services do not do that. There's one particular service out there that's charging you their concierge fee for fifteen dollars. They will book the reservation for you. They will put it in your name. Basically, they'll transfer somehow the reservation to you. And that's Satan.com because truly only evil would do this. Only evil would do it. Um, but these are people that are going in and they're snagging a bunch of reservations for some of the more popular meals. Minnie's Holiday at Holly, Hollywood and Vine right now, very popular, very difficult to get. I can go to these people's website. They do have multiple dates booked. They have multiple times available. Mm -hmm. And I could get a table for the four of us for the dates that I want if I pay them $15. It's the principle. It's not even the $15. It just irks me that they were able to get these reservations they're turning around and selling them, and they will release these reservations so that they're not penalized the um, the fee for not canceling. And then at the last minute, are these restaurants going to be empty? Are these restaurants not going to have sold out the reservations, even though for months ahead of time, it looks like they are? Well, here's why, as a consumer, you shouldn't go to one of these websites. Again, not to put the Microsoft technical hat back on. But it'd be very easy for me to go set up a bogus website on a hidden domain and call it, you know, DisneyGuaranteedReservations.com or Disney Guaranteed Dining and just make myself a whole series of bogus reservations on my own website that look like they were available, charge you a dollar less than Satan.com and their outrageous $15 price, and in my commentary tell you why we're better than Satan because we're devils as opposed to demonly evil, which everyone knows is much more evil. But the point is, and then you give me your $15 dollars on your credit card uh, my website disappears in a few months i've made a few hundred dollars and I, somebody has your credit card information so i mean this is this is a racket that's just targeted for somebody to be scammed as part of their disney vacation so separate from your indignant outrage oh my goodness because we can't be at the table you want you can see how outraged you are by your smile <laughs> i am outraged as, a, as just a general i am outraged as a gen <laughs> yes yes you're <laughs> outraged Yes, outrage that I have, my mic works and yours is allowing me to talk. <laughs> I, I, from a general safety standpoint, these are not the type of businesses that you should be doing business with, giving your credit card information to. This is someone who's going to charge you any amount they want, uh, or you'll be stuck dealing with the credit card charges that come behind it. And, um, you know, it's just, it's prone that you could be just, just hoodwinked out of this. Here's the Which isn't even a Disney people, movie, and that's people. why it's not a good thing. <laughs> this can people be run by been, Corella DeVille. It could. People have been complaining for years that you cannot get the tickets for the most popular concerts. You can't get front row seats to see your favorite sporting event. You can find them on some of these other ticket services for 10 times what the face value of the tickets are. It's not fair. <clears throat> it's not fair to somebody who gets up at the crack of dawn on their 180 day out reservation making day and cannot get any of the meals that they want, not because the restaurants are legitimately full, but because of services like this that are snagging these, these reservations and holding them and charging you to dine at the places that, I mean, Disney's not charging me an extra $15 to come sit at California Grill or any of the other restaurants. They're letting me make the reservation and I can legitimately cancel with them up until 24 hours ahead of time. These people are making these reservations. If they don't sell them, and that's what they're doing, they're selling you a dining reservation that you should be able to snag for free. They're selling you these reservations. If they don't sell them at the end of the 180 days when it's time for the reservation and it's... I, 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 I just can't even tell you how pissed I am. Well, really, it seems like a real technical, easy change that Disney could do to resolve this. The first one is just require a credit card guarantee on every reservation. Which they do. 
So now all of these reservations are sitting out there with the same credit card hundreds of times over? I don't know. I don't know how the system is working. There's also something in place where you can only make one reservation in a two hour period. So I can't in my email address have back to back reservations. You know, let's say I want to make one at Ohana and I want to make one at California Grill and we'll decide that day where we want to go eat. The system does not let me make a five o'clock restaurant at Ohana and a five o'clock restaurant at California Grill. Well, when Grill. you buy a domain from GoDaddy or, you know, scamrx.com we give you 500 email addresses so, so you could set up various very accounts right? i see that yeah. it's not very difficult yeah i mean technically you're not talking about, you're talking about a barrier that's that's a nuisance but not something somebody can't easily you know get around and again each restaurant you're calling is a totally different person so it's not like you're even and you're not even talking to a person you're interacting with a system i mean if you really wanted to take the time to do it i'm just frustrated <laughs> and you know there are services where again you pay your ten dollars you tell them you want to eat at california grill on such and such a day they will let you know when that becomes available they will keep an eye on it for you they'll let you know when it's available that's kind of a service well it's not really they they're programmatically opening up a web page with that reservation and getting back a result that says available reservations it's okay i mean the they is a programming and that's uh, but that's kind of a service if, if you want to look at it as like a personal shopping kind of service where you tell them you want the little black dress with the you know the the v-neck and they go out and they find it for you and they let you know what store to pick it up in the other service that actually books the reservation and has them on hold waiting for somebody to pay them the 15 dollars totally different thing well again i mean the first time a restaurant that's in demand actually wakes up looks at their bookings list and says look our entire night coming up is booked by this one or two different credit cards you know where we don't have a name or a phone number or anything behind it let's call all these people just to verify this booking is real well it's going to have to have a name i mean when i make a dining reservation i not only have to No, have... i mean when this automated system is booking all these reservations well that's what i'm saying they have to be putting some information in because when i go in and make a dining reservation they have my disney experience account login they have the names of all the people in my party that are going um so Quite again, frankly i, I just I, I would think this is more of a scam to take people's money than it is an actual legitimate service. That, well, and um, I guess it would be interesting to see if people are paying this $15 fee and then showing up at the restaurants and being told there is no reservation in their name or finding their credit card. No, because no, first off, no one will admit to that. That's that's the first thing. The second thing is, or very few will, they'll, they'll kind of be ashamed by it. Or they're robbed of 15 or 10 or $10 and another 10 a few days later or a $20 charge at a Starbucks, whatever. So, like, it'll go under the radar and they won't even notice it's going on. So, um, this seems more prone because, I mean, at this point, what you've got is a target who's showing up saying, I want this and I have a lot of disposable money and here's my credit card. I mean, that's just, just a right fruit for somebody to start, you know, picking off the tree there. I just hope that that it's it's kind of nipped in the bud. I don't like this that I don't like this service. Um, and again, I'm sure if this turns out to be a legitimate thing, it's perfect for well, some. Well, quite people. frankly, if it was legitimate, then why wouldn't they have a legitimate business name on it? You know, why are they hiding behind a you know a hidden domain name? Not any contact. Because we did do a little bit of research on this. Yeah, not even. I mean, company. well, I mean, not you know thorough by any means but I mean even just a cursory glance the website doesn't give you any way to contact them no way to say who they are what they're standing for um, you know is this a cast member sitting there at a restaurant somewhere um, you know is this someone doing it out of you know spite or vindictiveness just to mess up someone's Christmas vacations who think they'd get a, a thrill out of it because once they have your reservation if they make it they may be able to go back and cancel it behind you because they'd have the reservation number I mean there's just <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. And from a Disney works. standpoint, I mean, the risk to Disney is, on one hand, why why would they even care? This is such a drop in the bucket of the billions of dollars that Disney deals with. But where it's going to come to the head is somebody's making a profit off of the back of Disney. Why are they allowing that? But more importantly, when this goes bad, somebody's going to attempt to look and blame Disney for it. Well, and that's what's going to happen. Somebody, or a restaurant's going to have a vacant place on yeah, Christmas. Yeah, there's going to be like a half-empty restaurant on Christmas or a half-empty restaurant somewhere on some, you know, peak day. Um, people are going to start blaming Disney. And, you know, I people have already asked me what's going on with Disney reservations. I can't get in any of the restaurants that I like to get in. You know, I've been looking for these reservations for weeks, and that's always been my thing. I know I tried to get Beer Garden during the middle of the uh, Food and Wine Festival, and it was I booked. can get you Beer Garden. Um... 
not a problem there. But no, there are people sucky, that sucky, sucky, sucky. <laughs> there are people that have said to me, you know, this is so unusual. I can't get any of the reservations that I want. Even people that are not going at peak times just can't get, you know, be our guest. They can't get uh, Cinderella's Royal Table. They can't get um, Chef Mickey's. All very popular restaurants, all of which book up in advance. Uh, to the wise ass on Periscope, no, I'm not getting a head start on Movember. Thank you, though. Keep going. Sorry. You just, you totally just mowed me down. Um, Movember. <laughs> Zing. No, I, okay. I don't, I don't think the service is fair. I don't like the service. I don't like the fact that you can pay to, to secure your reservation. I don't mind the services where, again, if I can't get online at the day and the time that I know that really, I should you, you don't like ticket scalping is what you're trying to say. This I don't is like restaurant ticket scalping. scalping. It's restaurant scalping. Yeah. I don't mind, again, the personal shopper aspect of it where somebody says, here, I found your little black dress at Neiman Marcus. It's, you know, $25 on sale. Go grab it. I mind somebody that's dangling the carrot in front of me that says, here, you know, I already booked you know, Minnie's holiday dinner at Hollywood and Vine, and you can have the reservation, but you got to give me $15. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not giving so it. So another way to save money on a black dress is to go to one of those stores that marks the price down every couple of days. Find do the they dress. Do those anymore, Sims? <coughs> did you find, have Sims in your area? Find the, yes, in my area we did. Yeah. Because I believe our area is about the same. Yeah. So Well, except for the Pineys. And, do you uh, remember Sims, though? No. I, yeah, yeah, I went there with Paul Glanis to buy a... Um, there used to be a department store in our area called Sims, S-Y-M-S, where you could go in and the ticket would tell you the dates that the, the articles of clothing were going to be marked down. So, like, if you went in today and it was $50, you could see on there that in two weeks it would be marked down to $40. And really then it was up to you to decide whether you were going to leave it there and risk that it would be So there. what people would say to do is go to Sims, find stuff you like, and, and then it. misfile it around the store. Hide it in the store. Hide it in the Everybody store. Everybody I know did that. They would take the garment and hide it until it was... On the bottom so, sale price. Yeah, so the advice on how to go to Sims and find the good deals was go to the hardware store looking for dresses because it was all <laughs> misfiled in the wrong spots. Sims is long gone. But yeah. anyhow, back, staying People on will always try and find a way, though, to make a few. People are going to find a way to make a few I just, bucks. This I is, just this don't want thing. I'm yeah, messing this, up my vacation. This is just ticket scalping for restaurant seats. That's exactly what it is. And we're we're mad. Man, mad as hell we're not going to take it anymore. Not you want to open the window and scream out and yell at her? I don't. No? That would okay. be inappropriate. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am Anna from beautygirlsmom.com. If you'd like to subscribe, just hit the button wherever it appears on your screen. We'll see you real soon.